Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Shining in the Darkness from the Sega Genesis Classics Library. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode we got My uh, Milo and Pyra, <clears throat> our two party members. And uh, we leveled them up a bit. And I did some off-screen leveling. Basically I just went up and down that corridor and went down into the, uh, what is it, cave of, what are we, strength, right? Um, fought some baddies until got the level that we needed to be at in order to proceed. So, now we will get to new content, progress, and all that stuff. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, first of all, wait, no, not the castle, not the castle, not the castle. I don't care about the castle. I just want to go and check my party status because I don't remember exactly all of our items. Okay. You have 2D poisons, other armor. Okay, Milo, what do you got? Some herbs. Okay, you have all the stuff that you need. Right? Yeah. Uh, we need money for a sh sword now <clears throat> to upgrade our main character. To upgrade Hiro's weapon. Everyone else is fine. Oh, we need shields too. We're going to need sh money for shields. We'll get that along the way. Um, the most important thing in my off-screen grinding was getting Milo and Pyra both up to level 8. And now they hopefully won't die as frequently. Well, Milo. Pyra was fine because she had the royal tiara. Let's see. She has herbs. Okay. Let's go buy... Oh, wait. Do we have the gold for it? 83. Okay, good. <clears throat> uh, let's go buy an angel feather. Go ahead and give it to Pyra. What? Miracle Herb? Oh, that'd be nice if I could afford 8,000 gold. <clears throat> now, I don't remember if uh, the deals that they offer uh, when they say, wait, I have something here for you. I, I don't know how those are determined or generated. I don't remember. It's been so long since... I've gone through this game. All right, anyway, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, back to get back to business, get into the cave of strength, and come on now. Nice, Pyro went up a level. Very nice. Attack points by two, defense by two. Blaze increases to two. This is very nice because this will give us uh, an edge over parties of monsters, groups of monsters that would otherwise uh, maybe put a hurt on us. But anyway. Alrighty, here we go. Oh no, we ran into trouble. No problem. No problem at all. Now, we will use Pyra's uh, spell points sparingly. Like, we're not going to use them if we encounter enemies that aren't going to do a lot of damage on us. Oh, here we, hey, here we go. So, I forgot to mention that Kaiser crabs can appear around uh, left-hand corners, um, <clears throat> even after you've fought the Kaiser crab boss. Ouch, man! Come on, that's rude. Um,
what am I trying to say? Or what am I thinking of? Oh, and the, uh, so when you fight the Kaiser Crab with just Hero. Nice. Um, the Kaiser Crab can sometimes attack by, uh, twice, twice around. I think once you have your all your party members, I think that the Kaiser Crab always attacks, um, twice per round. So that's just something that... Uh... Oh, and another thing that we can do is... Uh, let's see. Yep. So you can actually just go back and forth, back and forth, just right here. Um, this, this, is, this is the way that I prefer to level up, actually. Uh, is just uh, to go back and forth on, this, on these left-hand corners. Uh, or just pick a left-hand corner and, and just go back and forth like that. Um, and... Nice. Um, and, and it's a lot of experience, right? It's uh, 40 experience, um, 50 gold, and and so it's a really good way to to get gold and experience, and, and you know quite quickly. It doesn't take as long to go through those battles. Granted, you are taking more damage, but uh, I mean you don't have to go through all this nonsense of fighting, you know, five individual mobs. Um, even if, you know, man apes right now, they're not very much of a threat to us. Um, they're gonna miss us a lot or only hit one damage. But, uh, you know, 10, 10 versus 20. Um, anyway, let's, let's keep going. Um, okay, so here, actually this isn't a good example. So scavengers, uh, interestingly enough, scavengers have learned the ability to cast blaze uh, and so uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, we'll uh, in our in our journeys in the cave of strength see plenty of scavengers cast blaze 2 on us all right here's another one hey <laughs> All right, seven points. That's that's not bad. Yeah, if he attacks hero, it's not bad. It's when he attacks anybody else that we get uh, bruised up. Forty and fifty. Yeah, that's just fantastic. All right, we make it right here, and then there we go. Cave of strength. <clears throat> All right. So the first place we want to go is let's see um oh let me let me illustrate something so we're gonna first turn left here uh yeah and then go down here and then come to this big open area oh I'm gonna fight some hermits okay so here's a good good uh place to illustrate uh pyra's blaze Two ability. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, these guys shouldn't do too much damage to us. Alright. So yeah, Blaze 2 is a very nice uh, upgrade to our spells. Especially now that our our groups of enemies are getting noticeably larger and more dangerous, of course. We're going to start encountering uh, spellcasters and... Uh, nice. Um, and also... Uh, blast. Nice. What am I trying to say? Um, enemies with special abilities, I believe. Maybe it's just spells. Maybe maybe everything just comes across as a spell. Can't remember. Uh, alrighty. So before, oh hello. All right, we'll just attack. So one thing about scavengers, and I think this applies to any enemy. If an enemy can cast a particular element of a spell, I believe they are resistant to that. So if we cast blaze on like the scavengers, it does reduced damage by like I don't know, is it 25, 30 percent? Okay, so we have a spell uh, that we have acquired in our in our grinding. 
So uh, we have now the spell vision, which allows us to um, I think we cast it on Hold on Maybe not Okay, never mind. I thought it was, uh, um, I thought it revealed what, I thought, never mind. I thought it was for chests. I didn't know it was for items. <clears throat> okay, blah. So it's an identify item spell. I thought it was an identify what's in the chest spell. Anyway, this spell is a trap, and I'm pretty sure we can handle it. Um, yeah, we have these chest beaks, and they're kind of tough. But nothing that we can't handle. Ouch, yeah, they're they they hit hard. They hit very, very hard. Um Let's uh cast slow. Nope, doesn't work on him. Oh man. We're gonna have to heal Hero. We're gonna have to use uh, all the heals on Hero. Doesn't affect Hero. Milo's asleep. Oh good. Spell. Let's just keep on casting Freeze. Milo is sleeping. Oh good. I really would like slow to work. Nice. Alrighty. That will... Oh, I guess not... Not do anything. <clears throat> Okay, now we can do some damage on him. Oh, nice. He only had a few hit points left. Alright, as you can see, he uh, gives a lot of experience. Uh, but tough customers to, to fight. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. So now, we will come back... Let's see, I think this takes us to the open area. And then we want to turn left, yeah? And then come up here. And here's a chest. This actually has an item in it. Wisdom Seed! And Wisdom Seeds, I'll, I'll just show what it does. Um, it reveals the map. And you can only, you, you can only use it once. Um, and, and this is helpful if, uh, you know, you were back in the day and you're trying to graph out your map and you're like, oh, am, am I doing this right? You know, it, it's, a, it's a good, it's very helpful for checking to make sure your, your grid is accurate. Because there are some times when I had to uh, erase a lot of squares because I had missed like one or you know one or two spaces here and there, um, and that's super frustrating when your grid is completely off because you missed one square. Alrighty, uh, so let's see. Um, let's go find another chest peak. Actually, go all the way along this wall here, and then. Oh, Neanderthals. This is fun. Okay. Now, why does it matter that they are grouped up like this? Well, that they that they appear in groups. Well, it all has to do with spell casting, right? Um, that's all. That's all that it's about. Um, so it's not about monster type. It's about how monster groups appear. Anyway, just uh, FYI. 
Alright, this battle will give us pretty good experience in gold, I think. There we go. Pyra finishes off that Neanderthal. Nice. Very nice. Okay, then down here, I believe. Yeah, this way. Okay, so before we... We're going to go ahead and I think... Let's see, 46 out of 67. Yeah, let's throw a hill on Pyra as well. All right, let's go ahead and fight the chest beak. Hello, all right, uh, attack and is there a spell I can cast on him? How much damage does Blast do? Let's just see here. I really want slow to work the first time. Nope. That's fun. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh man, that was a hard hit. <clears throat> Alright, uh... Come on, we need slow to work. We really need slow to work. Oh man, come on. Uh... Yes, yeah, let's just keep spamming slow. There's nothing else. Well, she could cast Freeze or Blaze, but... Um, come on, hero, wake up. You just got smashed into the wall. Because uh, I don't think Blaze does much damage on him, does he? Oops. Yeah, I don't think Blaze really does much damage. <clears throat> yeah, two points. So less than Freeze. Yeah, they have very high magic resistance. Wait, uh, spell. Uh, let's do level 2. And let's cast Freeze. Man. Come on, hero, wake up. Wake up! Longest battle ever. Not really. Hero, come on, wake up. There we go. There we go. Come on, slow. Please work for us. Finally. That should do it. Yep. Alrighty, yeah. Bit of a challenge, but nothing we can't handle. Alrighty, so that concludes the chest beaks in this area. I think there's one more, but that's way further down. This place is pretty big. Um, and let's see, we need to uh, go this way now, all the way down. And then where these torches are is where we will come. And then if we turn, I believe, oh, here's a Kaiser Crab, I was going to say, we'll turn left here, come on, slow, work for me, nice, slow is one of those spells that I did not appreciate until uh, long after I had begun playing the Shining games. And it's uh, so incredibly useful. I mean, when you decrease your enemy's defense and you know speed um, by by as much as it does, it's a it's a pretty invaluable spell, really. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Um, I think there's. I think this is a antidote, or excuse me, de, de poison. 
And then if we go... Oh, hello, Kaiser Crab. I won't say no to fighting you. Nice. <clears throat> nice, even Pyro can take him out by the second round. They, um... Right, hello, scavengers. Oh, there's that blaze spell we were talking about. It's like, how does a scavenger know magic? You know, how does... It, whatever. Whatever. Alrighty. So, this way... Oh, hello. Got some dark hermits? Yeah. So, if we were to go this way, um... There's some stairs which lead down to a, an additional sub-level. We're not going to go there yet. Instead, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, goblins, yeah. They look friendly. Alrighty, 22, 33. Milo goes up a level. Very nice. Very, very nice. Up, hello. Uh, we'll just go ahead and attack. Um, we use a lot of our spell points or our magic points mana points um, on those chest big fights. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. Did we... Did I turn myself around? I did. I did turn myself around. Nice. Oh, a Widow Fang. I think these are poisonous, so we want to kill them first. Nice. When I was uh, first playing through this, and going through the learning curve of the of the game I thought to myself wow I'm a you know I'm, I'm strong enough that I'm one-shotting all of these enemies uh, I I need to just keep pressing forward okay this is the corner all right there we go so I I pushed myself uh, way further into the maze that I had business doing and I died a lot alrighty so let's see Need to look at my map here. Um, let's see what's our MP and looking like. 19 for Milo, 13 for Pyro. What can we do with that? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, actually get a couple more chests. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a long corridor that we can go back and take that'll lead us to a couple of chests with just some small treasures nothing big and then from there let's see man this maze is huge nice hero went up a level very nice okay so if we go here and then it's that hallway right there oh hello that's a lot of people. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cast Blaze. 
Nice. All down in one round. That's fantastic. Alright, we go all the way to the end here. Man. So they must have what, 16 or 17 health? I thought that would have. I thought that was gonna kill him. Hit him by 14 or 15. Alright, so this chest that we're gonna get is. Uh, let's see. We have smelling salts and. 100 gold that we'll be getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'll be glad when we can uh, do uh, our next weapon upgrade. Um, not so much so that Hero gets the sword, so much that we can pass down the bronze saber to uh, Pyra. Then if we... Oh, hello. There, let's do that. <clears throat> Very nice. Alrighty. Then up here is the hundred gold. Uh oh, some spiders. Uh, yeah, let's just attack. Milo and Hero can pretty much one shot most things as they attack in this area now, save for, of course, the chest beaks. Um, oh, yeah, search. 100 gold. How much do we have? 1190, very nice, okay. So, um, I think this is a good spot to um, do, a, do a break in this dungeon, um, call the episode, because, let's see. We have to go back up and around, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, so let me just look at my my map here. Um, as far as upgrades, yeah, we we just need a couple of shields for Hero and Milo, and even those aren't really a high need. Um, really, just getting that sword so that Pyra can have a decent weapon as well. Um, but looking at the map here. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use uh, our angel feather. Where is it? Okay, we want to go to the weapons shop. Uh, what do you got for deals? Long spear, you still got that. That's a good weapon, but... Um, no. Okay, uh, we don't need that many depoisons. A couple is okay, but, uh... Oh, and we have detox, so let's just keep one on hand, just as like a backup. Uh, yeah. Like, seriously, dude, stop doing that. We don't need the Wisdom Seed because we have a map. Only six gold. Okay, I thought it would be better than that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell the Depoison. De uh, yeah. And sell the bronze knife. 
And then, oh, we need, uh, uh, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah, let's buy the sword. And no. Okay, give the bronze saber to Pyra. And equip our people with their stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and buy another angel feather. Though we haven't we don't have the uh, exit spell yet. Give it to Pyra. Oh wait, no, we don't. Okay, armorer. Okay, let's see. Do I want a shield for Milo? Yeah, let's get a shield for Milo. Uh, how much is hemp robe is what we want for uh, what's her face, Pyra? <laughs> But we don't have enough for it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, what have you got? Magic hood? Oh, that's a nice that's a nice what that's a nice piece of armor that we can't afford. Uh, man, come on. Alright, whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and rest at the inn. And then save and quit. Alrighty, so in our next episode, um, we'll go back to the cave of, what's it called? Strength, yeah. And I don't know that we'll... Let's see, looking at the map. I don't know that we'll do the entire map. Um, but... Uh, we'll get a good part of it done. Alright, yes, record my exploits, please. Uh, no. No. Alrighty, so that is uh, our first uh, first day in the Cave of Strength. So, until our next episode on Shining in the Darkness, so long for now.